Hopefully nothing bad happens. Send it. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna continue working on our Ferrari 458 project and what we're really trying to do today is actually get some power to this thing. Maybe get this thing started. We don't know what we can do with this thing because there's no power whatsoever on this car. Hopefully nobody tried jump starting it at the auction, maybe fried anything because you don't want to jump start these cars. So let's go ahead and locate this battery take it out of the car and go find a new one. Usually on most Ferraris, the battery is gonna be on the inside, right in the footwell, basically. So, floorboard there. Yeah, we already spotted it earlier. Yeah, it's like where the Huracan's uh, fuse box is, the, the Ferrari's battery is there. But you see right there, we got the Genuine Ferrari. Ferrari. I wonder what this We're is. We're not gonna be able to find another Genuine Ferrari battery, but I think we can find something that'll work. Yeah. But look at this. That's I a think, trickle charger. Yeah, trickle charger. Let's see how to remove this thing. Should be pretty simple, but I believe the reason why they put it there is for like weight di displacement, right? Probably. Probably Definitely. got because this car specifically is just super aerodynamic, super like track focused. And uh, I mean, it's a Ferrari. It's so. a Ferrari, man. Well, let's go ahead, uh, try to remove this battery and hopefully we can find one today. <laughs> That's probably one of the toughest batteries that I ever removed right there. Yeah. Just by how uh, the screws are, you barely can get in there. We had to actually use this really short little screw uh, screwdriver right here, and it was very difficult, but we finally got it out. Now let's go to the local parts store, and hopefully they got a battery like this. All right, guys, are getting in the zone here. Hopefully they got some. I'm sure they do. Oh, yeah. Most batteries are the same. They just got different labels on them. Hopefully we can get one here. Let's see what they say about this Ferrari Genuine battery. I got it. Oh, you got it. No, it's free today. Hey, watch out. The gun squad's here. You watch out. Giant Ferrari in the system. Well, you can match something up to it, probably. Yeah, so after searching for hours and hours. No, I'm just kidding. A couple Hold minutes. On. We may not have. We pulled not be something right up. One. It may not be the right one, but we got something close. So let's set them, I guess, up to next to each other. Looks exactly the same, dude. Same. We just need to replace these stickers, throw them onto here, and we right. got ourselves a Ferrari battery. Perfect. Yep. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Catch you guys back at the house. All right, guys. So we got our battery right here. We got a pretty nice Duralast right here. So it was kind of really hard to find actually a replacement or a direct replacement from a Ferrari battery because Ferrari makes their own batteries, I think. Yeah, so, that's exactly what dude was saying. Yeah, so we had to cross-reference a bunch of cars and we came up with this and this is the exact same cranking amps and basically the exact same battery just without the Ferrari uh, logo on it. So let's go ahead and throw it into the car. Alright guys, so the battery is finally in and it seems like the alarm is going off or something like the the turn signals are blinking really fast, but check that out. Ferrari 458 Spider, dude, that looks so dang cool. What I'm about to do is put this key <laughs> in and see if I can at least get this alarm off and then check everything else out. You know your normal little Ferrari key. <gasps> oh, dude, that is sick. Gearbox not in park position. It's in neutral. Oh, we got some AC going. How do you turn this off? There you off. go. Is that park? First. Damn, there's a lot of warning lights going off. I wonder how you TPMS. Do you want to try to start this thing? Oh, uh, yeah, hopefully. Yeah, go ahead and inertia, hit that. Inertia switch, switch triggered. triggered. Oh, so that's not that's the reason why it's not going to start. The inertia switch, but how do you put this thing in park? Maybe that. That's a good question. We'll have to do some more research on that. Um, um, let me see if the top will go down. Oh, yo, what, dude, that is freaking insane. This thing is a freaking transformer, even the little Dang. things. Dude, that looks awesome, man. Oh, I gotta get out. <laughs> I gotta get out. Dude, that is just absolutely Dang. amazing. All right, guys, so we got the top off. Looks absolutely amazing, but the alarm is still going off for some reason. We tried to turn on the ignition, turn off the hazards. 
Well, I think it's just the hazards that are going off right now. As you can tell, the alarm just went off, man. This thing is just super loud. It just penetrates your eardrums. But right now he is looking for the inertia switch because there uh, should be an inertia switch under the driver's seat. I don't really see I don't know it. if it's in the 458s, but I just did a little bit of research online and that's what they said. Maybe it, it may be located. I don't think it's on this one. Yeah, maybe located a different location or something, but we're gonna try to figure that out because definitely the inertia switch blew or triggered because the airbags, both of them got deployed. So let's see what we can come up with. All right, so after doing a little bit of research, we did find the inertia switch and we're gonna go ahead and hit it, I guess, and probably reset it. You press it? Yep, I just pressed it one time. See if anything new. Gearbox not in park position. What else? Is there anything new? You hold the brake down. I'm gonna try to put it in park. See if it'll go in park now. I'm holding it. For some reason, not going in park. I wonder if you gotta start it. Looks brand new already. Yep, brand new airbag. Right there. All right. Mm -hmm. You gonna try what... to start it? I'm gonna try to. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Send it. Oh, snap. <sighs> that thing just fired right up. It started moving a little bit. Did it? Yes. Yeah, so I, I, I didn't want to cut it right off. Dude. Let's do it again. Do it again. I hear a rattle from the back. Rattling for some reason. Yeah, some weird rattle. Sounds, that doesn't sound right. Yeah, it sounds like something's loose, but I'm just trying to put it in park. I don't know how this Ferrari works, but. It's in neutral right now. It yeah, says it. can't put it in park for some reason. I wonder if this is park. I'm gonna have to try Maybe. to figure that out. This one's a little bit tricky, but we like a challenge. All right, guys, so apparently this is the parking or the neutral tool. You can throw your car into neutral or put it back into park. I'm sure whenever this car got in a wreck, they probably threw it in neutral because when we when we got it, it was rolling around. So yeah. went ahead and popped this deck lid. We haven't first time ever looking in yeah, there. Yeah, we haven't looked at it before, so let's check it out. Ooh, nice and Dang. dusty. Dang, dude, that is sick. It's crazy. The engine's sitting all the way back there. That is insane. Look at all this stuff. I'm definitely gonna have to get rid of those fat boxes right there or whatever. Looks like exhaust. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering what is rattling. What is this? Look, you got some kind of wires Ooh. right here. I have what is no that? idea. It may be like part of the scanner system that he had on Probably this thing. Probably got or like something. a complete scanner and stuff. I can see that's loose. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's loose. Of... What the heck? That is loose. Let's take that out. Whatever. That may be rattling, don't you think? Yeah, it was a really loud rattle. This that's one's, loose, this too. one's loose too. Let's go ahead what and pull these out. Somebody. Somebody Maybe. must have been messing with it. What if it had like an aftermarket exhaust or something? Maybe. Let's check the... Oh, bro. What is it? Look, you can just look right here. Exhaust is completely... Oh, it's freaking loose. I was wondering, dude, that was an outrageous rattle. Let me see. Yeah. So the exhaust, the beat oh, plane. Oh, yeah. And you can see it from over here, dude. Yeah, the inner yeah. fender's gone and the, the band... What, well, what yeah, kind of clamp is that? Both clamps are just loose, so that... Somebody probably took their uh, aftermarket exhaust yeah, off for sure. the stock one on. That sucks, but whatever. That's probably our rattle, but it's anyways. Rattle. Let's find out where this tool goes because we have no idea. It says somewhere around here, this thing basically throws it in park, right? Yeah, you go right over the gearbox somewhere and then you just like spin it half a turn or something and then it puts it in the park because that's the issue we're having right now. Cars in neutral won't go into park. And yeah, so it's like blinking. All the warning lights are going off. All right, so I believe this is the wrong tool. That's not the actual tool to pop it in neutral, I don't think. I think we got a set here. So good thing we got the manual book and all that good stuff. It's actually going to probably tell us, right? Yeah, we're going to try to find where we can put this sucker back into park. All right, guys, so we got the tool on the little engagement piece on the gearbox, I'm guessing. And now we just need to turn it clockwise to put it into park and counterclockwise if it was in, stuck in park and you were trying to, I guess, pop it in neutral. But go ahead and see if you can do a little turn. All right, so he just made a turn. All right, it's in park now. Nice. I got to move this tool out of here because these shocks on this rear trunk lid, they, it just fell down and they kind of suck. But here you go. Put that tool back up. Valuable tool. Oh, yeah. Now um, I'm wondering why the 
the uh, turn signals are blinking. Still flashing. Maybe it's because the stop lamp. Oh. Got him off? Got him off. Heck yeah. We're good now. Nice, because that was just getting real annoying. Oh, man. <laughs> you know? I mean, good thing we got our manual because we did find how to do this, as you can see right here. Yeah. It just shows exactly shows how to do exactly. this. And the cool thing that, well, the other things that come in this little uh, manual box package here, little... some freaking Ferrari gloves. Can you believe that? Check that out. That's crazy. They look like they've been used before. Right. Hey, but at least they're here. That's pretty dang cool. What is this? Is this like if your like, car breaks down or something? I have no idea, but... Oh, man, they must be giving them to small hands. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Hey, you're going to have to drive the track with those right there. <laughs> Ain't work gloves. But yeah, right I'm there. glad we definitely had all this right here. Oh, yeah, and the manual, honestly, this is the emergency section right here. You can honestly put the top down manually too. Dude, that so is awesome. If even the electronics to the top break down, it shows you exactly how to drop the top manually. So this is a this is a very helpful book right here. Got us into park, got us uh, the alarm system turned off, so we are good to go. All right guys, so moving on to the next thing. Now that we know it starts and stuff like that, and we did notice that the exhaust is actually loose, so what we're gonna do is actually throw the quick jacks under this car, lift it up, maybe take that rear bumper off, or the wheels wherever we can get to exhaust and uh, basically tighten it all up and what we really want to do is actually go through some of the gears to see if this thing actually engages in gear just to see if we're good because I'm really excited about getting this thing started now I'm excited about getting this thing in first gear and seeing if everything works properly and then after that we'll probably check the oil and all that good stuff before we actually run it for a very long time so let's go ahead throw the quick jack center to this thing and lift it up There you go, dang. Somebody barely had it on there anyways. Yeah, it looks like somebody uh, had an aftermarket exhaust and they took theirs and they put on the stock one. Or probably got somebody like a company to do it or something. Yeah, I'm looking under there and the exhaust is not even on its hangers. It's not even plugged up. As you can tell, this is even the valves for the exhaust. They just haven't plugged up so it's fully open. But as you can see, there's a hanger right here and right here, but the exhaust is just uh, literally just dang. dangling. It's literally not in its Please. Well, we're not going to be using that stock exhaust anyways, but for now we will, I guess, use it temporarily. Yeah, I want to just go ahead and just throw it on there because I just don't like the, the noise it makes. Yeah. It just doesn't sound good. It's way too loud. Let so. me see what's going on under here. I want to roll up under here. Under there. Check it out, man. It's crazy. Oh. Dang, look at these freaking control arms. These control arms are thick. I know. That's what I was looking at. I look at the, just this one little bar that just holds this, uh, what would you call this? The spindle? Yeah, I guess so. Spin. That is crazy how this works. Your tie rod. That's a tie rod. Yeah. The top bar is just one straight bar, and then this rear A arm you'd call yeah, it. Yeah, that's an A arm that for sure. That thing is thick. That's solid. It looks like, or solid. it's probably hollow, hollow. But that is huge. But if you can look under there, you can see how the exhaust is not connected and stuff. All up underneath there. Somebody just threw it on. I wonder what kind of exhaust they actually had on this car, you know? Yeah, it probably sounded good. Probably did. Probably well, sound real good. We're so. gonna get something. We're gonna get something. We need different something that us. sounds real good too. <laughs> that thing is crazy. Everything else under here looks good. The skid driver did a good job, didn't really damage anything. Just a flat, dude. All of this is yeah, all of it's flat. There's only a plastic piece from like half of the car back, so that's really awesome, dude. But guys, as for this rear bumper right here, um, that, does this separate? Look on here. Yeah, it separates. It's all full carbon. Look at that behind there. Made by Ferrari. Held on by 10 bolts. Yeah, there it's all you go. full carbon. Dang, look at that. Freaking three tips. Fakes. You know. But, but I mean, they're <laughs> real tips. They're just, that's just how these cars are. Just like the Huracan, you know? Yeah, so this is still a good piece right here. We are going to go with a different style rear bumper, though. I don't know, maybe Vorsteiner or something crazy. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't mind the rear of this bumper because of this carbon yeah. piece right here, but something crazy would be, you know, yeah, a Vorsteiner you know, that, that they have the aggressive uh, fins and that diffuser stuff. looking thing. Yeah, definitely going to do something crazy with this uh, rear end here. 
For but sure. That's pretty much it for the rear bumper. Now let's probably try to either remove the exhaust or put it back together and get this thing started and drive. Yeah, for sure. So we finally managed to secure the exhaust on fully because when we got it, all the hangers were loose and even the clamps were loose. And now it's time to start this thing up with the exhaust actually on and probably put it in gear. What do you say? Yeah, we'll probably put it in gear. See, probably first, second gear, maybe if we can, if the car will allow it. Ferrari, you first know how. First gear, we're good. Yeah, first gear, we're good. But I just want to hear what it sounds like with that stock exhaust because it was just rattling and yeah, all types of stuff. It was horrible. So yeah, and we, and we did check the oil. Oil looks pretty dang good. Probably needs an oil change here real soon because it's kind of dark. But anyways, let's start this thing right up. guys well something just popped off i guess uh to get to the fuse box somebody was trying to get to it but for some odd reason it wouldn't go into first i mean i was hitting the lever just like on the huracan you would and i tried hitting the auto button because that's the switch from auto to manual mode still nothing so we're gonna pop that back in and we're gonna mess with it a little bit more see if we can get it to pop into first gear <laughs> Man, oh, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> no coolant, but I gotta say that sounds Dude, really good. Dude, that flat plane crank is For what a V8 compared to that Lambo. That's, yeah. This has that that really high pitched sound, and I gotta say that's probably sounds a little bit better. A little bit better, man. It sounds like a street bike. You know what I mean? Yeah, it really sounds like it revs really high. I mean, uh, it revs all the way up to ten thousand. So. That Dang. is insane. It sounds super good with the stock exhaust. I can just imagine what it'll sound with probably like a titanium or just a full exhaust. Dude, it's gonna be freaking wicked. But if anybody knows why it won't go into first gear or into gear, let us know. I mean, we're gonna still do some more research, but drop yeah. that in the comment section down below. All right, guys, so no luck with getting this thing into drive, but not a big deal. We're still gonna do a ton of research, try to figure this thing out. Not a big problem for us. But in the meantime, we haven't did fan mail in such a long time. So we got a bunch of love from you guys right here, right on top of the Ferrari. So we're gonna go ahead and grab, grab a knife somewhere in my pocket and pop open the first package. Let's get it. Which one do you want? Go ahead and uh, get it. Let's do the middle one right there. The one with Thomas on it? Yes, sir. Look let's at that. Show him that beautiful drawing. Check yeah, it out. Yeah, Thomas, and you got Thomas on the, what is that, the Lambo? On the Lambo? Oh no, he can't get on the Lambo, nope, man. You got legit <laughs> right there? That's that's pretty I love neat it. right there. Let's see what we got. What is this? What is that? Oh, careful now. Some of this stuff is fragile. What? what is that? Automatic wire stripper cutters? What? Dude, Dude that's going to be perfect for the PVC Ferrari. pipe cutters right here. Dude, that is awesome. Is there a letter in there? Oh, yeah. There's a letter. And look, check that out. Some that's professional. Awesome, over. We got some... We got some uh, artists in the house over here. We got that. some wire strippers for us, some hose cutters. And this is from Oklahoma Kemp's. Kemp's. My boys and I enjoy watching your skilled work on your project vehicles. My young girls don't care much for the cars, but they enjoy watching Thomas. See the pictures they drew of Thomas. Dude, that is legit. Thank you guys for all the love and support. All right, next one here from Ohio. Let's see what Doug sent us. Ooh, definitely Ooh, Loctite. Need this. Got red Loctite. And blue. Bro, we got a, another fire extinguisher. I wonder if this was sent out before we got our fire extinguisher. I'm, I'm wondering. Let's so. read that letter right there. Dude, that is legit. Look at that. Car guy Doug. Hi, Goon Squad. You inspired so many to build and create, including me. In doing so, you've unknowingly had our backs. I wanted to return the favor, so I've included a few safety items for our shop. We're definitely going to throw this in our fire safety 
collection right here. We definitely need that in this shop. So go check him out, the car guy, Doug. You can follow him on Instagram here. All right, we got something from Washington. Here. What? Oh, dude, you can yeah. never go wrong with some magnetic. Always coming handy, handy as holder. well as some zip ties. Hey, I love me some zip ties, Zip man. ties never we're gonna, fail. We're gonna put this whole Ferrari together with these things, believe it or not. Peace, <laughs> auto boys. We're definitely gonna... Hey guys, I've watched your video since we've struck by lightning. Keep up the good work. You inspired me to start my own channel, and the name is Auto Boys. I'm revealing a 2018 Ford Focus ST and would love a shout out. Go check out Auto Boys, guys. They definitely hooked us up with some zip ties. All right, I'm gonna jump in here and pop open this beautiful Thomas package right here. I just had to. That Look is that. legit. That's pretty right cool. There. That, like, that's some unique packaging right there for sure. Ooh, yep. Thomas is friskies, man. He is never gonna run out of snacks. Is that catnip? Organic catnip. I don't catnip. think Thomas has ever had catnip. Has I think he? we had a little bit on his scratching thing, but. I don't know what he, he thinks of that, but this stuff don't last long with Thomas. Oh, oh snap, what we got there? dude, look at that. What? A custom Thomas no freaking. No way. That and with the Thomas legit. the Hellcat, Hellcat badge on the back, dude, that is awesome. Who sent Definitely, that? I'm about to read this letter. Dude, that is legit. Dear Thomas, my family is writing you from St. Paul, Minnesota. As you can see from outside of the box, they are cat lovers just like the Goon Squad. Tell the guys to keep up the good work. My family can't get enough. Sincerely, Jack, the cat, and the family, Sarah, John, Claire, and Nate Ad Admont. That's a hard last name to say. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I say all the time. Not good with last names. But we definitely appreciate it, and so will Thomas. Keep moving here. Ooh. What? What is that? What? A freaking pressure washer nozzle? Oh, is that one of them short ones? Oh snap! It is, dude. Dang. Is there a letter in here, man? We, I cannot just. We've always been I've watching always them Instagram videos of people using them short nozzles, and me and him actually went out to the local hardware store trying to find they one of these. They didn't have one of these, and man, look at that! One of you guys sent it, man. This is definitely something we can appreciate. It's gonna up our detailing game up right there. For sure. Thank you so much. There's no letter in here, but whoever sent that, we appreciate you. All right, we got another one right here. Slice and dice, another foam cannon? A foam cannon? A snow cannon, man. not a foam cannon. A snow a cannon, snow we're gonna foam. be making snow, man. Oh, dang, <laughs> I think this company sent us one out before. before. Let me read the letter, actually. Yeah, go ahead and read that Oh, letter. this is not a letter, this is just like a little receipt. A little, little receipt? Man, but That's a huge box, I wonder if they're just- Maybe uh, a little bit different, let me go ahead and crack it. Hooking us up with another one. But man, we got so many cars to details, the foam cannons come in handy for Definitely. sure. Definitely, if nobody uh, has a foam cannon, and be sure to get you one because they help with go ahead and connect it to our little device what? right here what you said i can't wait to detail now i know right thank you guys and uh if if they're wondering about this short little handle it's just a lot easier with uh with uh, low cars you know you don't have to stand so far yeah, away from the sure. car you can get real close and stuff like that <laughs> All right, we got a tube here. I love seeing. I love seeing the tubes. The tubes. Oh, Ooh, it's a poster. No dude. way. It's got to be something awesome. That, I mean, it has to be something awesome. Just look at it. Oh, there's no letter in there. I no there letter. Was. Let's see what this is. Whoa. Oh, there Dang. is a letter. No. That is clean. Look, the Lamborghini is actually parked where that picture is right there. On that side. They probably came over here and Go took the picture. Look at that. Got an autograph on the back. Let me Dude, read this. That is a, I, li I like that goon squad right here. That yeah. is legit. Imagine if we right. actually put that up front. That'd be freaking sick. Be I'm a fan of your show and love the sports cars. Took some time to draw a poster and gave a personal touch to your logo. Hope you like it and maybe some of your fans might want to copy. By the way, can you find Thomas? What? I'm going to go ahead and find him. Ooh, look at that. In the dark, you can barely see that him. That is legit. But definitely dude, love that poster. Definitely appreciate that. Who sent that? Gil Gilam. Gilam. I hope, I, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Gilam from Montreal, Quebec. We appreciate this poster. Thank you. Another one. Ripped it open. I, dude. What is that? As soon as I seen like an edge of it, I, I knew that? it was tea. I actually like tea. Do you like tea? Yorkshire tea. Let's have a proper brew. Where, where's this stuff from? 
Dude, is there a note? Awesome. No, oh, there is a note. Let's dude. see what the note says. A gift from Oliver Gladstone. Enjoy your gift. Man, I appreciate it. I'm actually going to have some tea tonight, so. He is always I a little it. tea and crumpets with the Ferrari Lamborghini. Tea and crumpets on the back <laughs> of the Ferrari, shall we? <laughs> we appreciate it, Oliver. An American flag. English American flag. You can never what is go wrong. English American Wait, flag? Wait, is it a little bit different? Does that look at, well, hold on, look at this design. Dude, they have that thing split, like never, down the middle. Never seen one of these. An English American flag. That's pretty freaking cool, dude. What? Oh, an English and American. That's what flag. I'm saying. That is, I've never seen that before. Let me see if there's a letter. In that, that's pretty unique. That is pretty cool. We definitely got to hang that up. Send a thank you note right here. Great channel. We love watching you, your builds from across the pond in England, Surrey. Look forward to seeing the custom Lambo being finished. Hopefully there's some tea bags with the flag for a brew time from Finn and Tom Gladstone. Awesome, oh, guys. You guys sent the tea as well. We definitely appreciate it, and we're going to hang this thing up soon. Don't, don't cut the Ferrari, man. All the Ferraris. We'll be all right. Let's see what we got here. Dang, that was a tough package. Tough package. Eaton County Sheriff's Eaton County. Office. What? Dang, that is legit. They sent us a little... Oh, look at this. That is awesome. Look at that. Dude, that is clean. Oh, look what? at the back of it. Dang, we got is some this a coin from officers. Man, we love all the support. I wanted to share with you a patch and challenge coin for your garage from my sheriff agency in Michigan. Great work. Thank you guys for everything and keep up the good work. Definitely going to hang this up somewhere in our shop, so we appreciate it. Andrew Jenkins. All right, so we got a bigger one right here. Let's see what's inside. Hopefully, I'm not scratching up this Ferrari, but it's all right. Careful. It'll, it'll buff, won't it? it? It should buff. Got a box in a box. Got a little letter here. Right, what letter does that say? Pro pad. Pro pad. We getting a sneak peek already. Pro pad. You find it? Got it right here. Hi, Goon Squad. Enjoy your gift. God continue to bless the Goon Squad and keep them safe from Jim Majors, Jimbo Jam 68. We appreciate it, Jimbo Jam. Jimbo Jam. I don't know what this is Jimbo yet. Jimbo Jam. I don't care what it the is. Thick, I still appreciate it. premium pad. It almost looks like a work pad. Oh, dude, it is, man. Ooh. This one's a little bit more rigid, a little bit more sturdy. I it? actually like that right yeah. there. We got, we already got one of these, but still, we 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 always use these. You know yeah, what I mean? these they always come in handy, especially going up underneath the car. I use like two of them right now that we have. The third one's definitely gonna come in hey, handy. Hey, we appreciate it, Jim. Thank you so much. We got a big box over big here. Box right here. Let's see what's inside. Something green. Hi Goon Squad, my, me and my wife live in Jacksonville, Florida, but we are Italian and we are excited for your new Ferrari. Here's a little present, Mirko and Marta from Jacksonville, Florida. A little Let's present? See. Is this for the Ferrari? Yo, Pull it you're out. not gonna believe this. Blanket, oh, An a car. An Italian flag car cover, perfect <laughs> for the Ferrari, man. That is awesome, I gotta say, I've never even seen something like that before. Definitely, we're not gonna unpackage this right now because it's, it's gonna be hard to put it back in the package, but yeah, we definitely de appreciate this. Yeah, we're gonna cover this Ferrari up as soon as it's done. Mirko and Marta, thank you. La hey, last one. This may damage the Ferrari now, Careful. it doesn't matter, it's fan mail. A gift for you. Hey Goon Squad, love the content, enjoy the tool tray. We all know how much of a pain it is keeping you organized, working on cars. Hope this will help you guys. Hoping for a nice truck build soon as well. Eric Greenslate from VW. VW. Or WV, West Virginia. West Virginia. I was about to say VW Volkswagen. <laughs> What's going on? This is actually like a big tool tray. What is it? Is it like a stand or something? Dang, we just set this thing up and check it out, man. We're definitely going to use this. It's going to come in handy. And we appreciate all the love and support that you guys give us. And we just couldn't have done it without you guys. So with all that being said, be sure to stay tuned. Make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything because we got some awesome things coming your way. Also, guys, if you want to support your boys, be sure to visit GoonSquad.com. We just got some new merch, so be sure to check it out. Be sure to follow us on Instagram to get an inside scoop there before YouTube. So with all that being said, thank you guys for everything, and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.